So what are algorithms? Open the computer science textbook and let's just read it. An algorithm is an ordered set of unambiguous executable steps that defines a terminating process. This last part is, you know, because some algorithms never stop. They have to halt at one point. So it has to, it has to compute something. Um, but, but, but the majority of the most important part is that an algorithm is an ordered set of unambiguous and executable steps. Now, there's another word you can use. And for all practical purposes, every time you hear the word algorithm, you can replace it with this word, with the word recipe. And if you don't take anything else away from this entire specialization, then, then I will be very sad because I hope you take a lot of things away from all of this talking that I'm doing. But if you don't take anything away, replace algorithm with recipe and it tells you a lot about what's going on. A recipe, basically. So here I have a recipe of how to bake a cake. It's a terminating process. I compute something or I bake something. I bake a cake. And it's an ordered set of unambiguous executable steps. So you start with this amount of flour, with this amount of sugar, with this amount of teaspoons of baking powder, and then you mix it. And if you have, if you want to make more cake, then you take twice, if, then, if, then, if, then. If you want to make it a, a little bit more baked, then you keep it in a little bit longer. So there are different subroutines that you can change, different if, then, if, then coding clauses. But that basically you know, tells you what an algorithm is. It's a recipe. And, you know, the world is full of recipes. If you do some art project, you follow a recipe. When you learn an instrument or you learn a sport, you basically, you know, your coach or your teacher teaches you recipe. When you have a job, when you do an apprenticeship, here, you know, in taking these kind of courses, you learn cognitive recipes of how to think about things. When you have a job, a physical job, uh, ways of doing things. So the algorithm tells you, the way of doing things. Now, if they become very important, then we put them, we make them more socially collective. For example, culture is a collection of ways of doing things. If you go to one country, you might give some, like for example, if you go to Paris, you man and a woman give themselves a kiss on a cheek, on one cheek. If you go to South America, in Chile, you give a kiss on both cheeks. Here in the United States, if you do that, you will go prison. <laughs> so like, whoa, you don't, you just give the hand. If you even give the hand, if not, you give a fist bump, you know? So there's different algorithms you live by when you're in different cultures. And you know that if you are in Paris, then, you know, as the Romans do. In an extreme case, these laws that, that we live by, if somebody doesn't comply with them, we take him out of society and put in prison because this society runs on a, on a big algorithms that we all agree on. That's what we should do. So you kind of like have to apply if they're really important, these algorithms have to apply by these laws. And that's how we organize our society. There is a kind of code that's a super code, for example, the constitution that organizes how also other, orga, other algorithms run, but it's kind of, it's algorithms all the way, all the way up and all, and all the way down. So, so say, once you put on these glasses of, of, of algorithms, you see algorithms everywhere. It's just the recipes that we behave, a lot of behavior is algorithmic. Uh, it's an ordered step. Now, not all of these processes are really explicit. Sometimes you don't really, even so they give you the algorithm, you don't really know what to do. Right then, then you come to the part in the IKEA closet where it says, "Hey, call us." You, you cannot really follow the algorithm how to screw that together, right? So uh, then he's like, "Well, that is not the, the, the explicit description doesn't allow me to do that." And that's a very important distinction. Not everything that we do is explicit. By the way, not everything that machines do is explicit. Some of these modern neural networks, the transformer networks, we have no idea actually what they're doing and the way how they're doing it. 